Hey, you're Whiskey Fancy. I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. Kara, what do we have today? We have Kirkland, the 1792. I love all Bottled things Kirkland. in Bond. Do you like, love all things Kirkland? I do, because we have so a checker cable stuff to go sample. Oh, she likes the samples at Costco. I understand now. I just keep these. <laughs> So this is the Bottle and Bond version. A couple months back they released the small batch version and we came across this. Now I have to say I was like slightly confused in the aisle because when I first glanced at this I was like, Kirkland made a rye? Because traditionally green means rye. So they, they confused me a little bit with the label choice, but I'm excited to get into this. How about yourself? Yeah. Barton, 1792, Kirkland. Let's see if it lives up to the Kirkland's, the Kirkland name and the Barton name. Oh, that's really it's, rich on the nose. It's like, it's got more on the nose than the small batch did of the Kirkland. Can I ask you a question? Ask me all the questions. If you, hmm. do you get a slight hint of banana? Yeah. Like a, like a banana taffy? A little bit. That fake banana mm -hmm. flavor, yeah. I do, but the, it has more of a- Happy like, taffies. Ooh, happy taffies. I, I always thought runts were weird. The Agreed. banana runts. They're a little odd. Mm. I prefer, um, if I'm going to have fake banana flavor, I prefer the Lappy banana Lappy Taffy. Taffy. Mm -hmm. It has more um, of a richer nose than the small batch. The, the small batch did, it was really so light. hard. Yeah, it was so light. That's what I thought. This, just on the nose, feels like it has a promise of being... Richer? Yeah, more flavorful. Deliciousness? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smells a little caramely, a little oaky. Yeah, it has a lot of spice to it though. Yeah. And it's not like a youth spice, like that you would think even though it's been right. for years, like so the, the ethanol. The, right, so the good year, the good years. The good years, good I Lord. love good years. The good news about the bon Bon, you know it's at least four years old, right? Yeah. So maybe that's what adds to the depth. Because mm. that small batch was a little thin. Mm. Well, I'm excited, I'm go for it. Look. Okay. This bottle came to play. Ooh. Oh, okay. It's definitely... There's peppery on that back. Yeah. On the finish. It... Well, oh, there's an interesting note on the mid palette. This does not remind me of a 1792. Not anything that I've had. Not that I've had. Um, although, the bottle... To be fair, the bottle and bond expression that we've had has been a single barrel. So... I don't know if that was like off compared to the regular bottle and bomb right. profile, but this still doesn't taste like any of their core range products that we've had. Mm -hmm. I don't have like a similarity, like a vein note that I would be like, oh, it's a Sazerac 1792 or a Barton. Mm -hmm. Except for it has a banana on the nose. Right. That's it. That's, That's where it. the similarity, similarity ends for me. That's it. The little, I'm getting a little barrel now. It less, has... less banana. This has a kick. Spicy? I get oak in the mid palette. Yeah, this. What is that spice? Is it pepper on the end or something? Oh, it's, it's pepper. Cinnamon and pepper. But. Aggressive. This has to be a high rye mash bill because this spice no would not joke. happen without a high rye mash bill. I would have to say that something similar. Definitely. You think that's why they made the label green? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they got confused. Like, it's all right. No, it's a high rye. <laughs> It was a high rye bourbon. It's a high rye. Yeah. <laughs> um, I had, mm. I'd have to agree. It's quite spicy it on is. the back for a, for a bourbon. You know, oh, you know what sometimes is, tends to be spicy and I forget that it's spicy? Hmm. Is um, Henry McKenna, the, the bottle and bond. Yes. But those are single barrels, so those can actually Ours is very... a little spicy. The bottle that yes. we have is a little spicy. Yes. And those do vary widely. That, that um, high rye spice. Yeah, kick that you get on the end. Yeah, it has that. But this has it too. But it's not heavy no. No, but I mean like I'm trying oh, to compare okay. it with a high rum mash like, bill. Not saying that it's the same distillery. Saying that maybe it's similar um, mash bill as far as yeah. like the rye is concerned. Ha yeah. Not any other comparisons. As this is sitting in here, opening up a little bit, mm -hmm. it smells like how this reminds me with the wood on it. Mm -hmm. The cinnamon's coming out. You know those cinnamon. Toothpicks. Oh! Doesn't that remind you a little bit? 
Yeah, cinnamon toothpicks. Those were, I had those a, a, maybe once or twice as a kid. Those were a luxury. The banana's going away. The banana is gone for me. I and the, more, more of a cinnamon on the nose. I could see that. I, I, get I a lot didn't of, uh, get cinnamon at all. No, at I get time. a lot of um, oak though. Like a, well, when I say oak, I get a lot of woodiness. Yeah. So, got a lot see, of toothpicks, and some of them are cinnamon flavored. I, I, I enjoy this. This has enough um, bold flavors in there to hold up to a cocktail. I oh, believe. Oh heck yeah. Versus that, the small batch is good for mixing. But as you know, like just something that's it's like more of an easy going. It's a whiskey, right? Yeah, yeah. This one, I think you. I could. still enjoyed it for the price. Right. This one, I think you can enjoy if you like cocktails, or yeah. even if you like to, to sip it, maybe on yes. um, on some ice, on some nice like some people like those yeah. big rocks. Yeah. I mean, this is sheer balls, yeah, ice balls. Are good. That's what those they are, are. Those are fun. I think this could hold up in a cocktail, neat, oh, sure. and on the rocks. This is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a less than a twenty-five dollar bottle for a liter, right? Twenty-three ninety-nine. That's a great price, in my opinion. And it does have enough bold flavors in there to hold up. I don't know if it would be like an everyday sipper. Um, for me, it wouldn't. It's it's more oaky for me. You well, like I enjoy that profile? It I, I enjoy it. Yeah. So I mean, it that could be yeah, in would, your list. I could see myself sippers. reaching for this on like a Friday night before. Like when you're sitting down to yeah. watch a movie or something. Yeah, I mean it's not one note bland. Yeah. It definitely has stuff in there, but I don't expect it to have more than what it is. I, I think for for the price and the flavors that are in there, I feel I like it. Yeah, I, I, I I'm pleasantly surprised um, by it. Now I'm going back to it. There's a faint smell that reminds me of that uh forty nine mile small batch. Oh, I see. I can't remember what that the nose on that one was. It's because really hard it was, to get. It's it was subtle. like not there hardly. It's very subtle. I couldn't even smell it. I've tr I went back to it several times because I figured out I really enjoy it. There's just something about it. I like this. It's oh. opening up to be more it's... than just the wood for me and the spice. The more I go back to it, I get um it, more of the caramel sweetness, but it's it's caramel honey. Right. But I... it's not thick. To where it overwhelms everything, so I think right. that's why more the oak and the spices come out. I still today. like in the finish. I get just a, like a lot of black pepper on my tongue. It's black pepper, not so much cinnamon is as on the nose. That I'm, I'm as I it opened up. I get a lot of black, pe black pepper on the finish. Yeah, it's definitely saying it's mm. it's a high rye. All all flavor indications point to that. Not sure if that's the case, but that's what our yeah. palates say. I would, since it does not resemble the mm. 1792, and I think you told me this right before we decided to review it. It says by Barton 1792. Yeah. Do you think they could get away with saying that and not have the same mash bill at all? Yeah, that just could be us thinking, oh, it's the same thing as Just me like, hey, this is the same distillers, no, but it, it doesn't necessarily have to taste the same? No, or it could be the off barrels that they're not putting in their regular expressions. The, the barrels that are hidden mm -hmm. in the back that doesn't match 1792's profile? Or some hidden warehouse they don't want to pay taxes on. I don't know. Giving it away, hey? Eh? Hmm. Should we compare this to maybe a very old Barton product? Do you think that would... I'm it's, willing to try. It's done by Barton. I think we should compare it to a very old Barton. Well, now that we have a very old Barton to compare it to, this is 50% alcohol. It is non-age stated, so it matches the proof. We don't know the age statement, but that's okay. Let's see how it compares to the nose. I'm still getting the cinnamon toothpicks on the nose. On this bottle, this was so after in the sweet glass. honey creme brulee when I first smelled it. Oh, you, whoa, that's a lot of honey, right? That is just like a cough drop honey, like super concentrated yeah. honey. It, it's not from the same family, it's not. It says distilled by Barton, hmm. it doesn't taste similar. So, the only I, way it tastes similar is like, yeah, they're both. Bourbon. Yeah, <laughs> they don't taste really no. good. But so we don't know the age statement, but still, you think. Does this remind you of like the Kirkland small batch that we had a couple months ago? The it, nose. It it actually does on the palate for me, but oh, yeah. this is more bolder than the small batch that we had. But oh. this is a higher proof, hmm. so it kind of has more of the flavor notes. So it would actually be a comparison price. I think, actually, I think we should try that maybe later. 
So here's my uh, assumption mm. showing. When they released the small batch Kirkland yeah. and they said they were going to release this bottle bo and bottled and bought in another mm -hmm. one, I automatically assumed that they were just going to be the same mash bowl, but just different ages or maybe different proofs. We don't know. We don't even know if it's the same mash bowl at all as the Kirkland small batch, do we? No, but it's a higher proof. But I, It's higher proof, it's but not it's by much. so much more rye in this one. It is. I don't think this is the same mash bill as the Kirkland small batch. I am, mm -hmm. I could, my, I am not a professional. Mm -hmm. This is just my opinion, but I'm struggling to connect this one with the previous release. Like, yeah. I, I cannot see the slim. And the blind are probably wouldn't even correlate. They can't. I wouldn't even say they're the same, the same distillery. distillery. That is no. so weird. But this yeah. one, my this memory one, thinks yeah. this one is closer. In the flavor profile, yes, but this, but is, this is a better. little bit more, yeah. But but the value, the other one you get a, a liter for almost the same price as this, seven fifty. Yeah, so if you're if so you're a do you qual want quantity person, then mm, you know which one to get. That's cool. It's they're not bad though. This is quite no. lovely. This we don't have this. Does this come to California very often? It's in California now. Oh, okay. It used to be yeah. harder to find than it is now. Yeah. This comes in so many different proofs, it's confusing, yeah. and they all look the same. They do. The labels are identical, and you just have to make sure you read. You just look for the so price. Weird. That's just how you look know. look for the price. That's how you know the difference. Oh, I got the right yeah. one. That's this price. But that's nice. I'm, I'm going back to this. Yeah. It's the, not as woody? This is, no. That's good, though. It's, it's getting more sweeter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's still on palette. I'm getting a little more barrel bitterness out of the Barton that I did before. It's I, it's more youthful. It's actually more more light on the mouthfeel. Like it's because mm. I don't know if it's because it's not aged. Mm -hmm. um, this bottle and bond has a little bit more extra on the oh, mouthfeel. Oh, that's good. It's good. I'm not disappointed at all. I like that a lot. It's very good. Yeah. And the price is quite a value. Twenty four bucks for a whole liter. I I know the first one I was kind of on the fence I said it's worth a buy for at least the first bottle yeah, it was but for I, me. I wouldn't have bought a replacement mm -hmm. um I think you said you would um it, if I saw it and I knew I was out and I wanted like an easy drinker that's fair. but I already have easy drinkers so if I yeah, want to change it I up I don't know if I that would be my go-to easy drinker to be honest it'd be okay. probably towards the bottom of the list there's so many other ones I would grab first Evan Williams bottle and bond early times bottle and bond Buffalo probably. Trace open it up a little bit yeah i like that better this however this is interesting um i know there's a lot of uh bourbons in the 50 percent like the bottle and bond kind of category but if you like a spice kick and some that's barrel got bitterness that's not that's got it. that doesn't go it's too not bitter offensive. no I, i'm sorry yeah. but this is definitely i, I like it's it. for the price point if you're if, if you told me that was like a 40 dollar i would believe I, it I would believe it, but I wouldn't pay it that, to be honest, because it's not my flavor profile. But I like it. right where it's at is is perfect. I mean, I can even see this going for like thirty bucks, and still kind of be like, yeah, I see that. Easy enough. Yeah, yeah easy enough. Just yeah. well, just because of the quantity you get. Yeah. So, do you guys like Kirkland's offerings from seventeen ninety two and Barton? Does it taste like Barton 1792 to you, or have you compared it to the very old Barton? Let us know down in the comments. Give us a thumbs up and while you're there, subscribe so you can join us in our next video. Well, I think I can say it for both of us, but I fancy this whiskey and I fancy this whiskey. Cheers.